Hi everyone, welcome back. I just want to share with you guys my makeup right here. If you've seen my Tarte giveaway video, I was doing a full face tutorial and I used the um, foundation stick to see how the foundation and perhaps the loose powder they didn't quite match me. This time around I decided to just focus on the two shades light and medium beige and I think I kind of match myself much better than before and I also skipped on my Bon This Way um, liquid concealers. I use my NARS um, soft matte concealers instead in the shades Custard and Ginger. So I use Ginger to correct and I use Custard to kind of highlight and conceal. The base is quite nice today. I'm absolutely loving the combination of these two together and also I skipped on the Tarte loose powder that I received and I used my HG Laura Messier translucent loose powder and I think it's pretty good so far. Today we're going to talk about scarves. You know at first I was a little skeptical. I mean I get the idea that you know it's hassle free, it's wrinkle free, it's easy to travel with, all those good stuff. But I was not keen with um, the design. It was because most of the pleated scarves that came into the market last year were quite, you know, narrow. It's just so, so narrow. It's very narrow. So like, I can't really wrap it around and not worry about it showing my neck because it will it will show my neck when I just when I use this one so then um, I think it was at the end of last year or early this year I'm not sure Tudong people came out with their interpretation of pleated scarf which is quite similar to the one of duck but um, a little cheaper but I wasn't so quick into jumping on the bandwagon um, I took my time uh, but as of recently, I just couldn't resist it anymore. I managed to get this one. This is in the color Blachen. Okay, pretty lucky in a way because the moment I bought this, it went out of stock. And then there was 1010. Nelovar has come up with a, their own interpretation of Peter's scarf. But this one is a lot cheaper. This one is the Nelovar one. It's in light grey blue. Today, we're going to do battle between these two scarves. Maybe at the end of this we can see which one is worth buying um, or which one is worth collecting. All the things that I consider and um, the way that I would drape these scarves individually, they're all based on my personal preference and just based on how I would wear uh, pleated scarves and how I would appreciate pleated scarves. Right, so first up, dimensions. So if you look at the dimensions, they're pretty much the same. They're both at a length of 1.8 meter. Uh, and in terms of width, when I have them together like this, the Nello far one is stretched out to its, I wouldn't say maximum potential, no actually yes, to its maximum, which means that the Tudor People one is in fact wider. So this means that you get more fabric um, when you buy the Tudor People one compared to Nilo Far. So for this category, I would say Tudor People wins, if that's what you're after. But for me, it depends on the draping itself. If later, um, when I drape it and I feel like the width is a tad too, I don't know, um, wide, then maybe I would change my decision, right? Material. So the material of the Nello for one is crepe chiffon. And the material of the people is heavy Georgette chiffon. Honestly though, they're both... I mean, you can see that the Tudor People one is like, it's not 100% opaque because it's chiffon, right? And so is the Nello Far one. They're pretty much the same. I say the opacity is like 4 out of 5 or 3.5 out of 5 if that counts. But in terms of softness, um, hmm, I honestly can't really tell the difference. Maybe I'm just not good at telling the difference of fabrics. Yeah, 
so not much difference there. For this category, I would say it's a draw, definitely. In order for us to see and compare the pleat quality of the two scarves, I feel like it's only apt to show the scrunch uh, effect on these two. So if I were to just scrunch them like that, let's take a look at the creasing of the pleats and that would definitely reflect the quality. So as you can see, the Turun People one, uh, no matter how you scrunch, scrunch it, it somehow still conforms to a nice wave, I would say, like it still follows um, the pattern of the pleat. But the nail of our one, you can see that there's creasing, it, you can see it everywhere, like, you see that? It's completely different um, than the Turung People one. If we take a look closely, Right, let's just take a look closely. I'm going to zoom in for you guys. Pleat side by side, you can tell that the Turong People one is much more, much finer. Right? And the Nilofa one is larger. You see that? This is not a folding, but you can see that creasing right there. Whereas Tudung people, no such thing. They sort of like bounce back and get back into shape. So obviously, in this category, Tudung people has superior plate quality compared to nail or far. Either way, I don't mind wearing this, but it's just that I think um, if one can imagine, if you were to drape any one of these, this would definitely look better because it just has a nice flow compared to this one which is more likely to like crease like that yeah right so we're done with this category okay, so now I'm gonna be draping these scarves individually and for that we're gonna see how it drapes and see if the weight influences the way that it drapes and we've come to the end and now I have to decide which one of these do I like better is it the one I'm wearing or is it this one from Nailu Far all in all we're looking at hi you guys I decided to reshoot um, my final verdict there are two important questions that need answering and question number one is which one is worth buying? Honestly, it's the one I'm wearing, the one from Turong People, because um, you're paying 99 ringgit for this quality. I say, wow, yes, go for it. Um, the Nail Alpha one, even though cheaper, um, I just don't think it's worth it, considering the fact that you can get something with similar quality at much lower price. Now, the second question that needs answering is, which one would I actually repurchase? And my answer is neither because in all honesty, I'm not really a massive fan of pleated scarf. As you can see, I'm quite struggling trying to style it because it's, it's really not something that I can style easily. It's just, it's just not something that I would prefer it's just too much fabric and it i don't think it's versatile enough in that sense and i mean let's be honest it is straight up casual so which means it's not as versatile like you can't i mean i would i don't see myself wearing this to a dinner a fancy dinner events award ceremony whatever and because i've got 
a few pleated scarves already in colours that complement my wardrobe so I don't think I need more so yeah at the end of the day of course it's all about your own personal preference um, but if you ask me if you're planning to have just a few uh, staple pieces just go for the Tudong people one because I mean the quality is is really really good um, and you know like I said if it's just a few pieces to complement your wardrobe then it's okay to spend 99 on something that's gonna stand the test of time you know so uh, thank you so much you guys for watching and um, I hope that you guys uh, stay healthy and safe and tested negative so uh, I'll see you guys in my next video